Welcome back to the Northside Chronicle channel. I'm Neil Strieber, your host, and tonight I'm joined in studio with Aaron Tobin of the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy. How are you doing this evening? Pretty good. Thanks, Neil. Glad to be here. I'm going to kind of jump right into it. But uh, essentially, what do you guys do? What's the overall job of the Pittsburgh Parks, especially on the north side with Allegheny Commons and Riverview Park? Sure. Um, so the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy was established in 1996 by a group of residents who were concerned about um, their parks, um, specifically Shenley Park. Um, and at the time, um, the group of uh, residents that were concerned, led by Meg Cheever, our, uh, our president and CEO, who is um, actually retiring this month, okay. um, they were mainly concerned about uh, Shenley Park. And the mayor at the time asked them to focus on the four regional parks. And so the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy was born um, as a nonprofit in partnership with the city and improving the park system. So they mm -hmm. focus on the four regional parks for the first 10 years of their existence. Um, and in partnership with the city and the community, um, they worked on capital projects in those regional parks, which are Frick, Highland, Riverview, and Shenley Park. So Riverview being in the north side. Um, and, um, and then it was opened up that the Parks Conservancy could work in community and neighborhood parks. And so um, in 2015, we began working with the Allegheny Commons Initiative and the Northside Leadership Conference in Allegheny Commons, as well as uh, continuing our work in Riverview gotcha, on the Northside. Gotcha. It's actually a bit uh, younger than I thought. I actually know it was established in 96. That was a bit past that. But uh, with Allegheny Commons, mm -hmm. the action, uh, well, the master action plan. Yep. Uh, kind of take us through that. What have you guys done so far? I know you guys have had, this will be the fourth meetings on Thursday this week. Yes, the fourth um, open community meeting. So we've had quite a few um, meetings. Um, we started in earnest in uh, July of 2017, um, starting with a group of folks that were our steering committee for okay. the master action plan. So just to uh, rewind for a second, um, in 2002, the Allegheny Commons Initiative um, with the Northside Leadership Conference as their fiscal sponsor did um, the master plan, the original Allegheny Commons master plan. Um, Marion Presley was the landscape architect um, in the lead of that. And so um, we looked at the master plan when the Parks Conservancy came on um, as a partner in Im implementing that master plan and um, decided that with the community that it, it made sense to kind of give it a fresh look and an update. So we're not redoing the master plan, but we're um, working through and figuring out how we can better um, come up with an action plan to implement the 2002 master plan. So um, starting in July 2017, um, we've had uh, over uh, 60 focus group meetings um, and meetings with different individuals, key stakeholders, such as you know uh, the aviary, the Children's Museum, uh, Community College of Allegheny County, um, and uh, we've had four, three public meetings, and our fourth is uh, March 8th, and then we'll be wrapping up um, the entire plan with uh, at the end of March with cost estimates, and we'll be releasing that uh, publicly then. How's the response been so far from the actual public meetings? Good turnout thus far? And good yeah, response? yeah, we've had really wonderful turnout. Um, we had our first meeting on August 30th, and we had about 50 or 60 folks we had another meeting in October, a meeting in um, December, and uh, we've had a uh, pretty good turnout between 30 and 40 people at each of the October and um, December meetings. Um, and this, the response has been uh, fairly positive. We've, we, uh, we had a really good um, constructive responses at the October meeting. Um, where we decided to take a step back and you know lengthen the amount of time we did our community outreach process to, to gain more insight um, and, and you know perspectives on the plan. Um, so we were actually supposed to finish the plan in December um, with a kind of birthday party for Allegheny Commons because it's the 150th anniversary of the park. And um, we, we learned from the community that they would like to be a little bit more involved in the process. So we pushed it back a couple months. Um, and we're looking at probably having between 80 and 90 people at our final meeting presentation. It's going to be a birthday party for the park as well. Nice, so that'll nice. be fun. What have, uh, what have basically residents and naturally neighbors, what have they said about the park? What have they liked to see? I mean, I know you're kind of not redoing the park, as you said, just right. basically modifying it. But has there yeah. been any sort of uproar as far as they want? I don't know, more walkways around Lake, 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 sorry, Lake Elizabeth, as I mm -hmm. can't talk this morning. It's okay. <laughs> around Lake Elizabeth, or even just bring it back to Fountain Back by EGH. Yeah. And the main entrance there. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, I think that we've learned 
very much and, and we've learned from you know attending community meetings and over the past years you know really being involved that the number one priority from the community is really just um, bringing the park up to speed and, and providing you know basic maintenance and improvements to the park so for example um, we did a survey where we had almost um, fi 500 respondents um, to inform the master action excuse me, the master action plan. And um, the number one priority was improving the pathways mm. and um, fixing the lighting and, and improving the pathways throughout the entire park. So we're calling that a, like a circuit improvement. Gotcha. It's one of our main recommendations. Um, and, you know, at the same time, um, working to balance, you know, the ecology and, and, you know, green infrastructure opportunities in the park with the history of the park. So um, as you know, we know this is the most historic park in Pittsburgh, um, and so we really have to do a good job of balancing the historic nature of the park with you know the needs of stormwater management and, and kind of implementing green infrastructure in the park, as well as what the uses of the park are. So you know, how does the community currently use the park? How do they want to use the park? Um, but also respecting you know the passive nature of the park. So that's you know the Parks Conservancy is committed to to finding the balance between those three things for all of our projects. Um, but definitely, you know, we've heard loud and clear from the community that, you know, we want basic safety and, and maintenance um, improvements um, rather than, you know, doing uh, large capital projects. Um, but uh, our first capital project in the park is indeed the Northeast Fountain um, in, in the eastern portion of the park. As far as all the correction of the pathways and uh, the lighting, what's the timetable on that? What should residents expect to yeah. be finished and completed? That's a really good question. So um, the Parks Conservancy is you know, actively uh, fundraising for um, to, to continue the work down the promenade, so the promenade along North Avenue. Mm. Um, we, were, we have you know, received some funding to help us you know, continue improving the pathways and the lighting. Um, we, we have our development team is actively looking for sponsors to help us um, raise the money to do a park-wide lighting uh, fix. So um, not just fixing it in, in quadrants um, and, and in segments, but uh, looking at how to fix the whole thing. So the timetable is hard to say right now, um, but it, that is our, our next major project that we'll, we will be working on. Gotcha. And then north of Allegheny Commons, kind of... Uh my opinion, Pittsburgh's forgotten park. Yeah. <laughs> Review Park. I think Shenley always gets all the attention, and uh, it always cracks me up that Northsiders, especially in Central Northside, don't even know Review yeah. Park exists. Uh, any news coming out of that? Anything we should expect from Review yeah. Park? Any changes? Any sort of celebrations? Yeah, so, sure. So um, there is a, a group of folks who care and love about the park. Um, we're called the Friends of Riverview Park, um, and uh, we are working on um, an event this September, September 8th. Um, it's going to be called the We Are Four Park, so it has the Friends of Riverview Park acronym in the name, and um, it's going to be a celebration of the park, and the whole idea is to get people into the park and, and knowing that the park is there. Um, so it'll start with a bike race in the morning that's led by uh, Bear Dog uh, Bear Dog Bikes on okay. Worcester Avenue, um, Northside local business, and um, and then we're going to have acti children's activities. We'll have a program actually with Mayor Murphy over lunchtime and um, hikes throughout the day. And so the again, the whole idea is to get people into the park and also highlight the work that's being done by a lot of the organizations that do work in the, in the park because there's a four or five different organizations, nonprofits mainly that are doing work in the park throughout the year. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the point to really just showcase the park for what a gem it is. Gotcha. Any, uh, any updates on the trails or anything on review? Any sort of maintenance in that sure. regard? Sure, yeah. So um, recently the Parks Conservancy um, has been working with the Friends of Riverview Park, um, city planning, um, the park rangers, on kind of identifying um, how we can improve the trail system in the park. Um, we're working with city planning to also, in addition to improving the trail system with, you know, a maintenance plan and looking at how we can consolidate the trails, because there are a lot of what we call social trails. Um, we would also like to go through a trail naming process, um, okay. which is really exciting. Yeah. Um, and that'll be led um, through the Fresno Riverview Park. Um, and also there's a, a current project that the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority is doing in the Merrodale section of the park. Um, and we're going to be focusing on looking at, you know, what kind of trail improvements we can do and that kind of being like our pilot area for the trail improvements. Uh, any of the trails like named right now? Because yes. every time I go up there, it's yes. always like uh, just wander into a new pathway. Yes. Yeah, there are, um, there are, a lot of the trails are named. Um, as I was saying, some of the social trails don't have names, um, but, uh, 
it's a citywide effort to do trail naming processes in our parks that um, has been led by city planning over the past couple of years. The only um, regional park that has gone through the trail naming process is Emerald View Park, which is our newest regional park. And then a couple of our community parks have gone through that. So it's mainly for not only to you know have that kind of sense of uh, belonging and, and knowing what trail you're on, but also for um, emergency vehicles. So if you were to you know get hurt in the park, you can say where you are. Um, so that's another reason why the city is leading that effort. Any plans for any new green spaces or any new kind of parks or, like I said, green spaces in the north side? I don't know of any in the north side. Um, I do know that the city of Pittsburgh um, has been working really hard on um, a greenways toolkit. So we have a lot of wonderful greenways that exist that aren't parks, but they exist in between parks or they exist on hillsides because we have so many hillsides. Now, when you say greenways, it's basically just open space yes, walkway. Yes, owned by the city. Um, and the um, city planning um, put together a green waste toolkit that will provide residents if they're interested in, in being able to steward the green waste. Yeah. Um, so the one I'm most familiar with is in Spring Hill and the Spring Hill Civic League is there's a committee of us that are working together to figure out how we can you know, manage that space, build trails in it, but doing it through the proper avenues with in partnership with the city and, and whatnot. So I don't know of any new new green spaces that are that are coming online, but I know that the city is working really hard to make it easier for community members to, you know, access places like Greenways. Makes sense, um, makes sense. And uh, how did you get started in Pittsburgh Parks? Me? Yeah. Um, I actually used to work for the Allegheny Commons Initiative, which was a project of the Northside Leadership Conference. Um, I worked there part time, and then um, when the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy um, decided to um, do a partnership with the Allegheny Commons Initiative and the Northside Leadership Conference in 2015, they hired me on yeah. as a community outreach coordinator, which was really awesome. So I've been there since, so it's my three year anniversary coming up in a couple Congrats. weeks. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got the 150th birthday and then a uh, three year yeah. anniversary. Yeah, it's a big year. Um, with the Allegheny Commons uh, part, though, anything you'd like to see as far as different events being kind of held there, a bit more usage just from mm -hmm. uh, being a you know, Spring Hill resident as well? Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to see it used for that's not currently being used for? Huh, that's an interesting question. Um, I guess I'd like to see, personally, I'd like to see um, more different groups, different user groups kind of um, sharing the space. Not that they don't share the space, but you know, we have you know, folks that use the, um, the football fields, we have the dog park owners, we have the passive users of the park, and I really um, enjoy going to events like Pumpkin Fest in okay. October. Um, the farmer's markets are great. You know, there's just so many different kinds of people there. Um, I guess, um, I love music events, um, <laughs> but uh, music festival. I, I don't know. I think I think the park is is well used, and I just I, I mostly enjoy when different groups of people come together. Um, so I'd love to see more events. But um, gotcha. any place too, uh, residents can go check out the Park Conservancy website wise, yeah. Facebook. Yeah, totally. So um, our website is pittsburghparks.org, and we offer a variety of free family events, children's events, um, senior events throughout the year. Um, we do a lot of work um, out of the Frick Environmental Center, which is right on the edge of Frick Park. Um, and uh, we also manage and operate uh, Mellon Square downtown and Shenley Plaza in Oakland. Very cool. Um, so they can absolutely check out our events and volunteer as well with us. Very cool. Now, I'm Aaron. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. I'm Neil Strubing, the uh, host. And again, thanks Aaron Tobin from Pittsburgh Thank Parks. You for me. And uh, again, thanks PCTV for a uh, beautiful studio space. And again, thanks for watching Northside Chronicle channel. And that's it.